Let's ask the question, guys, and we'll ask this to the chat too. We will pose this question to the chat and ask everyone and see what they think. I got an interesting comment the other day. Um, it was about actually in art, one of the in art videos that we did talking about sort of, should we be concerned with the long delays between announcements and releases? And I know we got a lot of fair comments and I, I'm with people on this, not really because at the end of the day, their thing is more so quality and not quantity. So that's kind of been what they've gone after. It seems like, you know, they're making a lot of jokers, maybe 15,000, they said as an estimate, Pennywise, probably less than a thousand, right? That's pretty low compared to maybe that numbers that hot toys is pumping out. So as far as Hot Toys, do we give them, because I saw someone said, maybe we got to be hard on Hot Toys. I was like, well, we're pretty hard on them too. We're pretty, we're pretty fair, I feel like. We're pretty fair around the board. But you know, with Hot Toys, do we give them a pass for declines in proto to final? Because this does happen every so often. And I know, Kiko, we've talked about this a little bit. You know, We talked about the Ant-Man. We talked about the Tony Stank. Those are the extreme examples. But every once in a while, you'll get a slight decline from prototype to final. But Kiko, do we give Hot Toys a pass in this regard? Because some would say Loki right? I think maybe there probably was a decline as far as the head sculpt goes, but if you put the helmet on him, he's still pretty damn cool. But most people would probably say that Loki was a little bit of a disappointment for them. Kiko, what do you think? Do we give them a pass here too much? I'm going to be honest. And I think we are going back to the conversation we had about, you know, the bad batch and the art that they've created, you know, in creating something from nothing, essentially, you know, they literally took uh, a head of somebody that doesn't exist and created one and made a real life sculpt of something that doesn't exist and, you know, applaud that artwork. But going back to this, I honestly, and, I, and maybe you can call me a shill or just, I like everything type of thing. I don't think it is. I have never opened up a figure and said, damn, this is not what I was expecting because every time I, from the quality of holding it, and with hot toys, because there's been several third parties I picked up and be like, oh, this is not what I was thinking. But every time I say, you know what, this is pretty cool. This is a great, ex this is an exceptional display of art, uh, physical media, holding something that's special in my hand. And I look at it and be like, I couldn't do this. And I know other companies can't do this. And you're like, well, if they had the resources, they certainly could. No one else is doing it. And I am pleased you know, with a majority, if not everything that comes into my hand. Now, from the proto to final, I feel like the the minority of how the, I'm sorry, the percentage of pieces that come out that are different from the prototype are very, very minuscule. A majority of the time when you see something announced, you're probably going to get that. And it may be a small bit deteriorated if you want to talk about likeness or sharpness or anything like that but very rarely will you get one that's like oh my goodness this is so much better than i thought then that's a win that's great but right. i i can think of maybe like like i said three out of all the releases to where you'd be like "Ooh, this is not what i was expecting and in those instances it's not because the prototype didn't turn out it's because they tried to do something to the prototype you know because what you saw was something totally different would we be happier if they just literally stuck with the prototype and gave it to us? Because uh, in-game Captain America was quite a surprise that no one was expecting. And what do you know? That turned out great. We could have just gotten the old Age of Ultron head, but hey, that turned out great. But then suddenly you get Loki and everyone shits the bed and says, hey, uh, let, let's sell hot toys. And, you know, I, I'm just never going to buy from them again. They've lost my trust. They're slipping. I think they're, they mass produce something that is high quality. Think about what you're actually asking for hand tailoring, hand painting, all the amount of work. You're like, they're just too damn expensive to be this low quality. They are not low quality. They are very no. highly articulated, highly detailed, highly crafted pieces of art. If you want to talk about mass distribution, look at your Hasbro pieces and your Marvel Legends and things like that, and then compare it to this. And can you honestly say that they're not producing something that is good. And you may say, well, for the amount of money I pay, you know, it better look spot on, damn it. You know, <laughs> fine, cool. Then maybe, maybe don't, th then sell it. Sell it if you don't like that piece, then. there, No one's asking you to keep this thing. No one's asking you to buy the thing. I mean, if you are not happy with it, sell it and move on, voice your displeasure, and then make a decision. But I think a majority of everything out there, they have delivered, and I'm happy with it. There's a long, winded answer once again, but there you go. No, it's great though. Yeah, I mean, there's like, I would love to see that Kang figure, by the way. I was trying to find like another like 
recent release that I can think of that maybe had that issue. Because the Mark One, for example, that came out, you know, pretty close to the prototype, I would say. I, I don't think that one's for a sure. huge decline. Maybe it's a 10%, right? But, you know, it does happen every now and then. So I think Loki is probably the most recent example that most people would probably point to. But Riley, what do you think about this? Do you think there's any sort of, you know, um, like any sort of luxury that we extend to Hot Toys that we don't extend to other companies maybe, or maybe we're too harsh on them. What do you think about this? I think that it's a really interesting question. I think like what Kiko was saying, it, it mainly the biggest factor is just the price and, and kind of the reputation that Hot Toys has. That's why a lot of people are just super hypercritical about how things turn out when it comes to Proto to Final. Because yeah. at the end of the day, obviously these are like, like everyone was saying, high quality figures, high price figures. So we're going to be like above and beyond on a, on a thing. If this was $50 figures, $40 figures, then maybe we would be like, okay, it is what it is. It dropped a little bit, but I'm still going to get it. But for this, financially, that's exactly why a lot of people are more critical. And I think we do give Hot Toys a pass for certain declines. It also depends on just how much you love a figure. I mean, for your case, Will, when it comes to Loki, it's, yeah. it's a little harder for you to say like, oh, this head sculpt sucks. I hate it because you just love Loki so much. So it's going to be more so you're going to be like, you know, it might have to do with that me loving the, the character so much, but I'm still going to pick it up and enjoy it. And I think that definitely is another factor. But I think we don't give pass for other companies that are expensive. The, the perfect example is the NR Joker. I mean, that is the perfect example given the price it was at $1,100. We're ending up paying for that. Then we're going to have to see how it turns out. We were hypercritical. We went out to the threads. There was a lot of people asking for updates, changes on this, the magnets, et cetera. And I think that that's totally valid given the price we're at. And regarding Proto to Final, I've spoke about this a lot of times. I think that we should just expect when it comes to the prototype, it's one figure. We have to remember they're making one figure in the prototype and taking photos of it. But when it comes to, like Kiko was saying, mass production and making a ton of these figures, there's obviously going to be a shift from the prototype. That's exactly why on the bottom right they say this is a prototype. It is subject to change. It is not final. So that's exactly why we should, I feel we should expect that decline, that 5 to 10% possibly, because it just happens with almost every figure. And I think for those more popular figures like a Mark 85, the whole world's going to go wild because it's it's Iron Man. So that's exactly why a change happened. But again, for these recent prototypes, I've seen a lot of people say, you know, I see the prototype like like a, a perfect example is the Mace Windu. A lot of people were like, yeah. I don't like the prototype as much, but I'm gonna, I, I think it's going to get better when it comes to the final. It's going to get a lot better. The likeness is going to get better. I don't think so. I think it's going to stay, maybe drop a we little bit. because that. Exactly, because yeah, then you're just you're kind of just shooting yourself in the foot. You're going to end up saying, you know what? I'm not getting this. It's It looks worse. I'm not picking this up because you had too much high expectations. So I'd say expect more so, even with the Tobey Maguire, the head sculpt looks great. I love it. I can't wait for it. But I'd expect, like I said, a 5%, 10% decline because it's a proto to mass production. So I'd say we should give Hot Toys a little bit of pass for that because it's it, it's not an easy thing to do, clearly. So yeah. yeah. So I'd say. And this is optical. Is this your review, isn't? Will? No, it's opticals. It's opticals. Oh, I was going to say yeah, that it's... one, the unmasked sculpt that you showed a minute ago, that's a good picture. And I think that's a hey, very flattering image. That's a very yeah, flattering this one right image. There. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's better in hand than I think people realize. And I will say that as far as the hair, though, I think they did that because of the helmet. I would prefer maybe yeah. a swappable hair piece or something that they could have done. I don't know. Maybe there was no way to do it or two head sculpts. Maybe one head sculpt that has the helmet already fixed on and then another because that helmet's a pain in the ass to put on and off. Like, let's be real. So maybe that could have been easier. And then, you know, um, but I will say this Loki in hand, I absolutely love it with the helmet on. I, it's one of my favorite figures. It's not a perfect head sculpt, but you're right, Riley. Maybe I'm a little more forgiving because it's Loki and I love Loki. But you know, right. I you know, I, I think it still was an incredible, incredible figure. It's one it's of my great. favorite hot toys in my collection. I think it's maybe my first hot toy, something like that, as far as favorites. I can't remember how I rated it, but Loki's like one or two, something along those lines. Yeah, he's let's come he's back really to this topic it. once Wanda yeah. releases and see how I feel. <laughs> Wanda win. <laughs> You're like two win. years for this, no. but you, but you are absolutely right. You guys are both right about assuming it will get better. I think we do probably need to get out of that mindset because the, the how frequently that happens is infrequent. I would say right. it more often than not goes the opposite direction. It goes to a five to ten percent to fifteen percent decline, and that goes for increase. not even Hot Toys, but for Inart. I mean, the Joker it looks very close to the proto, but it isn't the proto. It's a little bit. Little it's bit like lower five percent, right. maybe exactly. Yeah. yeah, something like that. But that's that's understandable. I've always said five to ten percent is probably the threshold you're looking at, and right. that's why I think people are going to be happy. This happens with statues too. If the head sculpts go down, sometimes what happens is though, like Prime One Blitzway, they'll go down twenty percent. And then at that point, you're like, damn, I don't know. But I think 10% is the breaking point for most collectors, whether they realize it or not. I think most collectors are kind of thinking 10% decline. I still feel good about my purchase. More than that, I'm starting to not feel exactly. so great. So, yeah. 